Congratulations, you've made it to the very last square in the Dear Jane quilt, number M13 in the 13th row. So here we've got a very straightforward block, but it has been modified. This has been turned into one single piece. So we go to the booklet, and we see that we have these sections here, little pie sections. So I've got this with an outside curve, inside curve on this, and the square in the center. So I've got my pieces over here like usual, and I'm going to take these corners. I'm going to baste the straight edges first, and then do a gathering stitch basting on this. And then this is going to be straightforward edges here. This is going to be the inside curve basting where you clip little bits out until just before the paper and then fold them in so that you can account for that stretch. The square is going to be opposite sides and then opposite sides on the basting. And there are arrows here, so make sure that you um, keep them in the right direction. I also have directional here, even though I don't have arrows, I do have a stripe that I need to keep an eye on. So I'm going to assemble these in two-piece units. So it's going to be like these weird-looking pie shapes right here. These two, these two, these two, these two, and then you're going to assemble it around this square. So then I'm going to take this pie piece, attach it to this square, and then attach this pie piece, making like a bow tie, and then I can attach the opposite corners in here. So I'm going to get started with my basting on one of my corners to attach it to the other piece. So I've basted my pieces. I've got my little short end that I did first to uh, have the most sharpness. And then I did my straight edges here, and then I did this straight edge last. And then I did my out my inside corner, excuse me. I little notched this every so often and folded it up and glued basted it down. So I have this as my piece that will get sewn on to this piece, which I did the right angle side, and then I came across and I gathered the fabric and then came back and connected it to the paper. So that's why there's two rows. One of them is me going across the fabric, gathering it up, and this one is me tacking it down, and I'll, I pull that along the fabric to make sure that it's got a really nice crisp edge. So I'm going to sew these together, and I've already got this one sewn together. So I've got that corner ready to go, and now I can take out my basting here. My basting stitches will come right out of that, and um, I'll make all four of my corners, and I basted my square opposite sides first, and then the other opposite sides, and then I'll be able to put my block completely together. Okay, so I've got all of my corner pieces assembled. When I did this seam here, I skipped over a chunk of this where it was cut so I didn't undermine it. So I, I stitched about here and then I did a, took a stitch on these. Let's see if there's anyone. Oh, these are easier to see. Stitched to here, took a stitch, and then went to this side and took a stitch to, to reinforce it and also to compensate for that gap being there. So you don't want to do it where you snipped but right next to where you snipped without having to undermine the integrity of the fabric. And then I also left a lot more um, seam allowance on the curve so that I could baste it with the gathering stitch a lot easier. And then I did trim it down because it was a lot of excess fabric. So that's what I did on that. And so now I'm going to attach this to this square and then to this to make the little bow tie piece. So I've attached my square to the opposite corners. And so now I have this piece that looks like a bow tie. And I'm going to attach each corner one at a time. So I've attached the upper corner. And so the front we have this. And now I'm going to attach the final corner. So I've connected the last corner of my square 
and my M13 block is completed and the entire center of my Dear Jane quilt can now be assembled.